Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me for my FM16 career with Shrewsbury Town and you join me at such an important time. I mean this could be such a groundbreaking episode in the series. This is as far as we've come in the FA Cup so far in the save. And up next we've got Manchester United. If we can get three points against them we could potentially be in the run for the Premier League title. Never thought it would happen so soon, but it's, you know, it's a possibility. But first, we've got to focus our attention on this important game against Sunderland. They're not in the best of form in the league, but obviously all that goes out the window in the FA Cup. That's the team I'm going with at the back. You've got Ruiz, Oxford, Grandison. They've been such a wall at the back for Shrewsbury Town this season. Grandison's really stepping up to the plate since replacing Kevin Long. For Sunderland, they've got Rodwell starting, Graben, he starts, Carroll, Hall, Pantilimon in goal, who's on the bench, Jelovic, Katamol. I think we can do them here. I think we can get ourselves into the next round of the FA Cup. I think if we can win here, we can certainly go all the way this season in the FA Cup. I'm really fancying my chances. Here we go anyway. The game is at the Greenhouse Meadow. It's good to be back after that expansion. Won our first game back against Crystal Palace. This is a good move already. Ruiz out wide. He's going to look to swing it in. Was looking for our target man, Danny Ings, in the middle. Just couldn't find him, though. And we are controlling early on. We've had one shot, one on target. Ten minutes gone. And it's all Shrewsbury Town at the moment. Come on, lads. Win this and we're going to Wembley in the semi-finals Rodwell with a free kick finds Hall he's probably going to be one of the most important players on the pitch for Sunderland I believe he's uh, been in good form lately even though Sunderland aren't in good form themselves here is Kai Kai oh it's a good idea he was looking for Danny Ings he was making that run just couldn't get in front of his man to latch onto it but we've still got the ball Kante cut short by Rodwell but again we're back in possession Nani back to Kane, playing well then too. Kane whips it in and it's Danny Ings. Get in. Just under 20 minutes gone. Oh man, we are in dreamland at the moment. If it stays like this, we're heading to Wembley. We can certainly do it. Great bit of play from Kane and Nani. Linked up so well. And what a cross, what an assist from Todd Kane. And a great goal too. Rodwell. Out to Hall. This is where they go and get an equaliser now. I can feel it. Hall swings it in. Oh, what a clearance. Perrin was off his line. He's probably on the ground as well. It was an open goal. Oh, they've got a corner. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was coming. There is the equaliser. It's Jack Rodwell with his fifth goal of the season. It comes from a corner. As he made the run in, the ball just glances off his head. And he finds that top right-hand corner. Look at that for a corner kick from Hall. That's why he's so dangerous. And what a header. Who's grabbing injured? How many players do they want injured? Well, they've got knocks. It's Rodwell. The goal scorer. And they're going to make it to who? No! What a save from Perrin. What a clearance. As we're about to head into the break. All level. It could have been totally different. That's the third player they've got injured now. With a pulled hamstring. Kind of feel sorry for their managers. He's got... A massive decision to make now. Does he make all three changes at half time? Suppose we'll see. Let's go for pump ball into the box. Work no, actually, that's going to clash with that. So work ball into the box, clear ball to the flanks. Go route one. We've only got six minutes to go. Well, probably just under that. I'll go pump ball into the box, actually. What am I doing? I'm all over the place at the moment. I just want to win this game. I don't want to take it into a replay. I want to be heading to Wembley. Let's do this, Nani. Oh, we got a penalty. No way. Tom Carroll is going to be the bad man in the locker room. He's going to be the heel for Sunderland. No one's going to like him as Nani steps up to take the penalty. He's never let me down. Can he make it 2-1 here? He does. Get in. Well done. 13th goal of the season. Is that the winning goal? I think so. I certainly hope so anyway, as it would mean we'll be going to Wembley. Come on ref, blow the whistle. Yes, there we go, it's full time here at the Greenhouse Meadow, Shrewsbury Town 2, 
Sunderland 1. We are going to Wembley. Get in as we advance through to the next round of the FA Cup, the semi-finals. Not a bad game. We did leave it late, but thanks to Mark Clattenburg, as you can see, he got a referee rating of 6.6 .6 because of that controversial decision to award the penalty. It will be the standout moment and a fairly average performance from him. But the main thing is we are through to the next round with that 2-1 win. You can see that Liverpool are also through after beating Brighton 1-0. And that is huge. That is huge, ladies and gentlemen. Man United have just beaten City in the derby as they do have us next. Oh my God, this is getting intense. It's the end of the season. Shrewsbury winning FA Cup 6th round. Look at this. Oh my, Man City have sacked Carlo Ancelotti. He is gone. What a massive, massive decision to make. Can't believe they've done it because we're not far from the end of the season. The league is still wide open. I will show you the league table in a minute. But I just can't believe that City would get rid of Ancelotti so close to the end of the season. What is going on there? Just because they lost in the Manchester derby. Okay, they probably had a bad... Look, let's have a look. Have they had a bad run of games? So they lost to United. They drew against Atletico Madrid. They're still in the Champions League. Well, what the hell? What? Why would they sack Ancelotti? City are there, a point behind us in the league. They're a couple of points behind Chelsea in third. Why would they sack Ancelotti? I don't understand it. Just because they're fifth in the league? It's an absolute madness, if you ask me. Got mixed emotions here, I'm not sure. We could get Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool or Crystal Palace in the FA Cup semi-final. Who will we be playing at Wembley? I'd be happy with a Palace draw. They've got to play Southampton again. I don't want to get Liverpool. I don't... It's going to be tough anyway. It doesn't matter who we're draw, drawn against. We'll just take it as it is. So Liverpool are first out the hat. They will play against Southampton or Crystal Palace, which means we will play against Tottenham or Chelsea. They are yet to play. I think I'd be happy with... Chelsea because Tottenham are running away with the league this season but then again they are being closed down at the moment by Manchester United but they're still a top side so much is happening towards the end of this season it's so much to take in and up next I'm hoping we've got another classic against Manchester United you can see the headline there Payne expects a long battle against possession hungry Manchester United if you guys have been keeping up with the series you'll know that Every single game I played against United it has been pretty much a classic. So many highlights, so many chances, and neither team has beaten one another. We haven't beaten United, United haven't beaten us. It's always ended in a draw, whether it's 2-2, 1-1, 0-0, -0, you name it. And if we win this, we can certainly pull away from City, who have just drawn against Aston Villa. They've also lost against Crystal Palace. They're dropping points like crazy now after they sat down so I still can't get over that. But we can certainly pull away from City as we've got two games in hand. We need to take full advantage of those and we'll be laughing all the way. We, we could be challenging for the title come the end of the season. Both teams are fairly evenly matched and I think this will be a draw. Griezmann is out. Kevin Long will be out as well for Shrewsbury. I'm happy Griezmann is out because he's caused me a, quite a few troubles. Um, first time I played them this season anyway. But Bernardo Silva has created 10 goals in 36 games. He's in, he's in good form heading into this game. Um, United, they've got three games in hand. We've only got two. We need to make the most out of this, although we are at Old Trafford. This is the lineup then for United. Backer up front. They've got Yanazai and Bernardo out wide. Mata in the number 10 role. Central midfield, Ande Herrera and James Ward-Prowse. And at the back, Luke Shaw, Dragovic, Rugani and Darmian. And of course, David De Gea still in the United side. Look at that bench as well. Coman, Blinds, Fernandez, Lukaku. I'm surprised Lukaku is not starting. Sampa. This is the team I've gone with. Danny Ings. Nani returns to Old Trafford. Lionel Cole is back from injury. In central midfield, we've got Kante. Lewis Reed, Lewis Alberto. They've been such a quality midfield. They've really helped us 
get to where we are in the league this season. And at the back, you've got Ruiz, Oxford, Grandison, Kane, and in goal, I've got Perrin. Ruiz has been so impressive lately. I just can't seem to fit Courtney Howes into the team. I feel kind of bad as well because Courtney Howes started almost the first half of the season, performed so well, and now he's just been dropped like that because Ruiz was looking for first-team football. I was happy to give it to him, but he's proven his worth. He's been incredible. But anyway, let's move on. Let's hope for a good performance all around from the lads. All right, let's start the match. Here we are then at Old Trafford. Manchester United against Shrewsbury Town with three massive points on the line. Hoping we can pull away from Man City. Here is Kante now. Out wide to Todd Kane, who is battling for fitness, but he starts this game anyway. Luis Alberto back out to Kane. He is our top assister, the top assister in the league. And Danny Ings back to Kane. Is there a goal on the horizon? Oh, I thought Alberto would poke that in. It feels like another classic, this. Five minutes gone, and we've already had so many highlights. Oh, what a pass from Yanazai. Ward Prowse got a goal. Yes, Danny Ings. Look at the space here for Nani. What is Danny Ings doing? No communication there. And we've lost the ball. And it's Yanazai now that. He's going to hit us on the break. It's Bernardo. Oh, he's hit the post. Good clearance from Reed. Oh, my word. Oh, no. Mm, no. Perrin with another good save. What a keeper. It's still nil nil here at Old Trafford somehow. Don't think we can weather this storm for much longer. Come on, Ruiz. You need to be getting to the ball there. And to Herrera. What is that? No. Unbelievable, I've got to see that. We'll go to defensive here, but I've got to see that on the replay. And to Herrera, it looked like he... Did he head that and he looped it over? Let's have a look. See what happened. Yeah, it was a massive header for Amanda Herrera. He's very lucky for it to dip so quickly. Perrin stood firm, but just couldn't get to the ball in time before Mata poked it in. All right, let's have a good, decent half-time team talk. That's decent, fired up, motivated. I'm going to bring on Courtney Hires for Kane, who has been limited for 45 minutes of football because of his fitness. Because he was out injured. He's lucky to actually have been back for this game. And uh, we'll stick with that for now. Come on, lads. Liverpool 3 2 up against Arsenal. As I said, it's so open in the league. Come on, Nani. This is looking good. Please don't lose the ball. He's past his man. And he's got Danny Ings. Oh, fans Ruiz! Oh my god, I thought that was him, but David De Gea with the last ditch save. Tips it out for a corner. Cole to Tate. Finds Nani. Out wide to Kante. Go on, smash it, son. Go on. What are you doing? He's taking it all the way in. Oh my god, what a waste. Ambrose to Delph. Oh, what a pass out to Grandison. Come on, Grando. Oh, no way, Luke Shaw concedes a penalty. Oh, my God. Look at the time as well. 72 minutes gone. And it's Lionel Cole against his former side. Can he make it? He Actually, what am I doing? He hasn't scored many penalties this season. And he does this time. Whew. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, my God. What a game this is turning out to be. Another classic. Another classic. What is it? Every time we play United, I'm so happy Lionel Cole scored that. As he's missed quite a few. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, no, I can't watch. Delph. Trying to make up his mind. Nani onto Ambrose. Oh, Nani's winning back. Come on. Oh, it's full time. Oh, it's another point against United. Who is ever going to win this game? Is it ever going to be United? Is it ever going to be Shrewsbury? You guys are just going to have to keep watching to find out. But there we go, another point. I'm, I'm happy with that, actually, because the league is still wide open. Liverpool have took points off Arsenal. It ended 3-3 there at Anfield in the end. But you can see that, you know, with that game in hand, another win will certainly put us in a good spot. All right, so up next we've got Aston Villa. Not many games remain of the season. I'm thinking for the next episode, and believe me, guys, you do not want to miss the end of this season. It's so tense. The league table's so wide open. We're still in the FA Cup against Tottenham or Chelsea. Them two teams are yet to play each other again, so the date hasn't even been announced. But you can see 
what an end. Look at the teams we've got to play. Tottenham, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea. Guys, seriously, you do not want to miss the end of this season. This probably has to be the most tense, the most open season I've ever played on Football Manager. This is incredible. And we, you know, th those remaining games, if Tottenham slip up somewhere down the line and we continue on our good form, we could be looking at challenging for that league title. We could seriously pip Tottenham, pip Manchester United to silverware this season. Can you just imagine if I won the double as well with the FA Cup? It would be, the scenes be incredible. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed. Do join me for the next one. It'll probably be a double special against Tottenham and Liverpool. And then it'll be on to the season finale. I can't wait. And I hope you can't either. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.